Hey everyone! Today's video is a very cool experiment that's a pretty common demo in chemistry classes called the Golden Rain. And this is going to be a combination of potassium iodide solution and lead nitrate solution. Quick word of warning, lead and all of its salts, especially its soluble salts like lead nitrate, are extremely toxic. So you really need to be extremely careful when you're handling these, and really you shouldn't handle them at all unless you're an experienced chemist. So for this demo, we've got one gram of potassium iodide on the left, uh, 0.8 grams of lead nitrate is on the right, and the lead nitrate I made myself from dissolving lead metal and nitric acid. Uh, and we're going to be dissolving these into solutions of 250 milliliters each. So 250 in the flask, 250 in the beaker. So let's go ahead and do that. Potassium iodide should dissolve extremely quickly. It's very, very soluble. The lead nitrate might be slightly more problematic, but we'll see what it does. So in the lead nitrate solution, there's a tiny, tiny amount of uh, white powder that doesn't look like it wants to dissolve. So what we're going to do to hopefully fix that is acidify it with a drop of nitric acid. The reason this happens is that lead salts, um, the lead nitrate at least, uh, hydrolyzes in water. So it reacts with water and forms a uh, hydroxide that drops out and is not soluble. So we want to try to prevent that and keep it in solution. So acidifying uh, will hopefully help prevent that. All right, we're ready to begin. So this is the lead nitrate solution on close up, and I'm going to start by just pipetting in a small amount of the potassium iodide solution and see what it does. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Let's do some more. Wow, that's a really beautiful yellow. And I think after a minute it dissolves again. Let's try to swirl it a bit. Yeah, so it is slightly soluble, which is interesting. So let's keep going. So you can see that once I add it, it's a real bright yellow, and then as the solution uh, swirls around a bit, we get some dissolution, and that goes away. Man, that's pretty. I rearranged a little bit to get a different angle, so let's try this again. That's a really gorgeous yellow. See, now we're starting to reach the solubility limit of this, which is very, very low solubility at room temperature. All right, let's take all the rest of the potassium iodide and add it directly to it. This should be pretty cool. Wow, that's pretty. Wow. Look at how beautiful those colors are swirling around. Now the really interesting part of this demo is that lead iodide is only sparingly soluble at room temperature, but it's almost ten times more soluble in hot solution, in, in near boiling solution. So I've put the solution on the hot plate and I'm heating it up. We're going to try to dissolve the rest of this precipitate. 
and I'll give it a, a stir every so often. All right, it's been about 20 minutes and uh, everything is completely dissolved into solution. So it's totally water clear now, which is pretty amazing in itself. Um, this is very hot, it's near boiling, so you might see a couple of bubbles in there. So now I'm gonna turn the heat off and let it cool down back to room temperature. So all this iodide should come back out of solution and uh, do the, the nice golden rain part of the demo. So we're gonna move this over to a, a nicer area for uh, filming this. After taking quite a long time to cool down, we're finally starting to see some precipitation. And now we can see why this demo is called the golden rain. We get these just gorgeous plates, hexagonal plates of the lead iodide that start to crystallize as the solution cools down. And we get some convection currents in there because of course warm water rises, cold water sinks. So it carries these little platelets around and so we get this really cool effect where everything is moving around and sparkling and it, it just looks gorgeous. So now let's just sit back and enjoy the beautiful golden rain. Would you believe four hours later, this solution still has suspended gold lead iodide? Amazing. I can't believe how long this has lasted. And it's just been absolutely gorgeous the entire time. Now solubility below room temperature is even lower. So I think what I'm going to do is take this and put it in the fridge for a while and see if we can't get some more of these crystals to come out. All right, I placed the solution in the fridge overnight and we can see that there's still the gorgeous gold colored lead iodide flakes. But they still look beautiful. Um, so what I'm going to do is try to filter this off now. I suspect th that the flakes aren't really going to survive this because they're so very thin. Um, I imagine they'll be pretty fragile, but we'll see what happens. all filtered and dried. This stuff actually looks really nice on the filter paper still. So I'm going to very carefully scrape this off um, with a spatula and transfer it to a vial for storage. So now we need to consider cleanup and disposal. Um, every solution that contained a lead salt, like this was our mother liquor, uh, every container that came into contact with a, a lead solution or a lead salt, uh, like this thing, my stirring rods, the filter paper, the funnel, all of that needs to be um, effectively neutralized because we want to get rid of this lead. It's not good to, to keep that around. Um, lead iodide is pretty insoluble at room temperature as we've seen, but it is slightly soluble and therefore a little bit dangerous. So we want to render it into a form that's even less soluble. And I'm going to turn it into the carbonate. So I prepared a uh, hot saturated solution of baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, and I'm going to be adding that um, to all of the things that had lead in them. Like this is my 
uh, solution here. So it's it's water clear right now, but we'll add this and look at that. See how it goes milky. That means there was a little bit of lead dissolved in there as the lead iodide. So when we added the bicarbonate, that transformed it into lead carbonate, which is really insoluble. So that's a good thing that we did that. So I'm going to repeat that process with all of these other um, possibly lead containing things. And then once it's rendered into the carbonate, it should be safe to dispose of just as normal trash. So here's the final product, 0 0.8 grams of lead iodide. You can see it stayed together fairly well in these nice little sheets, and it looks a lot like gold leaf. Uh, I think if we had gold leaf right next to this, it would look maybe not quite as shiny or not quite as yellow, but it's very, very close, and uh, that's pretty neat. So I really enjoyed this experiment. It was, it was just uh, absolutely gorgeous to do, uh, and I hope you enjoyed it too. Thanks a lot for watching.